from Rocka Phyllis Center in Midtown Manhattan. You know I always like to start things off with a bang. And the Dorothy's Bornack Pavilion in Los Angeles. Back off, six pack. It's too early and I'm too sober. It's the transcontinental fun of the Frank DeCaro Show. Featuring Doria Biddle. I'm drunk enough for both of us. On OutQ, Sirius 109, XM 98. Yes, it's Frank DeCaro live in New York City. Doria Biddle is at the Dinah. And tonight Dina. she's the deep. Please don't touch my vagina. <laughs> Although there are just none finer. Uh, anyway, but filling in for her uh, here on the Frank Show is Mr. Derek Hartley, and we were so we are and were and, and will continue to be so lucky to have him. We are so thrilled that he is here with us. He's as quick as a bunny rabbit, and we just love. Him. He's so freaking smart. You're just, it just makes us so weird to be here during the day, Frank. It's nice. Well, He's nice. The sun is out. There are all sorts of people <laughs> I don't sun, recognize here. Out. Put your spectacles on. It's disgusting out. There. I mean, it's it's, it's a, where people are. It's day. Yes, but look at that stinky. The weather is yucky. You're well, if you're seeing sunshine out here. I well, think no, I, I mean, want those rose colored glasses. It was, really the, it's it was daylight. It was a setup for another joke, but you okay. know, yes, there's, I've ruined there's, it. I'm sorry. there's light out. There are people here I don't recognize. I'm sober. It's very strange. <laughs> and there you have. So anyway, there is already. Photographic evidence that Doria has gone haywire, uh, and she like Susan sent, Hayward. They it's true. <laughs> they sent uh, to who was in homeroom with Doria. People don't know that. <gasps> anyway, uh, it's, someone sent me a link from GayWired dot com, and they they're calling it Down at Dinah. And uh, there she, they said that things really got kicked off with Suzanne Weston Hooker's riotous show at the Riviera last night. And uh, so, and then you go through the photos, and you're like, "Oh, it's Jill Bennett and Kathy Jabana. Oh, they couldn't be cuter." And then you look more, and they're, "Oh, it's fun." And then you see, "Oh, there's Jen and Suzanne Westenhofer." And you say, "Oh, how cute are they?" And Jen Houston, uh, Suzanne Westenhofer's girlfriend, is my boyfriend as a lesbian. Okay, the two of them, they have the same taste in clothes. They dress. They're the, they could totally. They're like they could pick things out for each other. They're so with each other. But then you get down. And there is a picture of Doria Biddle with the Club Skirts founder, Mariah Hansen, and her mom. Her, she brought her mom. I love when a lesbian brings their mother to things. I like when gays bring their mother. Well, gay men will bring their mother to anything. Look yeah. At, look at uh, the one. Uh, who was who's the, the one who uh, uh, um, played Lex Luthor in the return, Batman return, or uh, uh, Superman uh, was busy, but now he's back. Kevin Spacey. Damn, he brings his mother to everything. All the gays bring their mothers to everything. It's cute. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So anyway. But yeah. No, so Doria is where it's like all tits and the word hooligan. That's Doria's T-shirt. Okay. It's like boobies and the word hooligan on it. And her hair looks fabulous. I have to say mm -hmm. her haircut looks great. And her merkin or the no her on her head. Mm. And when, wait a minute. Yeah, that is a merkin okay. on her head. I'm sorry. Right. Actually, she just wears it funny. Merkin, so. Merkins, uh, Merkins for hope. Up for hope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Doria's already on GayWire.com. Go Doria. She's That's already my on the girl. line too, Frank. So is she? Oh my goodness! Why doesn't anyone tell me anything? Is she really one of these? Yes. Shows? Oh Christ! It is her. Oh, for crying out loud, Frank! Oh, for Christ's sake, Doria! Doria! <laughs> Good morning. Good hey, morning, Doria. the show prep you sent was perfect. I got up this morning. I forgot oh, you weren't around. Uh, I didn't do I, anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you didn't. Did you do celebrity birthdays this morning? Yes, he oh, did. Only after Crisco Disco said, "Who's the celebrity birthday song?" and I was like, "Oh shit, we do do that first thing in the morning." Don't. Oh, it was terrible, Doria. I was, but but your boyfriend here's been filling in quite nicely. I can't believe there are already pictures of me online. When I heard that, I was like, oh, dear, where could they have possibly taken pictures of me? Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I, I, was, I caught just a few seconds of the show, and I was saying to a friend of mine, I was like, so that guy with the really queenie voice, he's the guy I usually work with. And she would say, which one with the really queenie voice? <laughs> wow. That makes me feel good, Doria Biddle. Uh, well, it is really like we should do a movie gay and gayer. Yeah, it, it really, really is could gay. be perfect. It is gay and gayer around here. Doria, has, Romaine was having all sorts of plane troubles. Has she arrived yet? Yeah, I just got a text from Greg about 10 minutes ago. They perfect. have landed finally. But I haven't spoken to either one of them. So I'm assuming they're on our, their way to our hotel. I would not Even assume that. I would assume that they are on their way to in and out <laughs> Probably. I haven't checked in yet, so I don't know. And I have their press passes. It's been chaos already. I'm ready to go home. Hard go to sleep. Hey. Well, it's, can we let's scale? Let's run the the clock back. Let's get <laughs> in the way back machine, and I'll ask you about this. Were you at the outlet store yesterday? Yes. 
and it was the most. Tra- I got the most traumatizing nine one one kind of text from her that she was horrified that she was at, Were the, at the Oshkosh outlet was, store because I, I love that one. I was just so stressed out, and I just couldn't wait to get out of there. I thought, well, I'll just pick up some clothes that I can wear at the diner. No, no, I, I just, I should never ever go shopping. It was so horrible, and I, I can either go shopping with Jim or with Jen Houston, the lesbian Jim, but I can't go by myself. It's just an exercise in self-loathing and depression and, and horror. And I walked into, where was I, Frank? Uh, uh, Liz Claiborne outlet. Yeah. And I walked in there, wow. and I don't know anything about, I don't know labels or anything, but I walked in, and I asked Frank, I sent him a text because I suddenly was thinking, am I in a plus-size store? Because everybody around me, well, first of all, nothing was my size. Everything was like XXL, and everyone around me was XXL. You're so in an outlet like, mall. <laughs> I guess, but I just didn't know. That, I didn't know if that's what Liz Claiborne was or not. She said, "Is it a?" Is, she said, "Is Liz no. Claiborne a large?" I said, "No." I said, "It's for." I said, "It's really kind of working women." I said, "But it's such a huge company that they have lots of stuff." Yeah. Tim Gunn is now their creative director. Oh well, they then all the the people my size basically raided the place like locusts and stripped it of anything my size, but um. I, I just, I sort of was in there and out of there. Just, it's, how long was I in there, Frank? Maybe 30 seconds? Yeah, because I told her, I said, it's not hip enough for you. Get out of there. It's said, not. Yeah. What, were the lesbians okay. there because they were shopping for a working girl viewing party? Like, no, really? You know when I saw all the lesbians, I saw all the lesbians at the True Religion store. That's the one. Yep. I walked in, and it was like, like lesbo a go-go. Now, did you stop at the the giant uh, dinosaurs like I tell you to do every time you drive to Palm Springs? It is dinosaur I, weekend. <laughs> I drove past. Them, but I'm um, I drove past giant dinosaurs, Frank, and I thought of you. But, All right, no, good. Well, thank you. Well, I we stop there. We do. People, the, the Derek is doing a wonderful job, and of course, eh. they say that the lesbians bring order to our shows, and and that all hell breaks <laughs> loose when uh. they're not around, which may well be true. So, so that just means that from three to seven p.m. Pacific time, we will be making the trains run on time. I doubt that seriously. Um, you <laughs> you're working with Romaine, and by the way, Frank and I have hit most of our breaks. So wow, good for you. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know what you expect. We didn't hit him at the right time. No, but we, we hit did him, hit them eventually. We did hit him. You know, we got. And we to hit him hard. So anyway, so Doria, you have to. So uh, Night Lesbian is here in the studio. Night Lesbian, did you have any uh, uh, questions for what's going on at the diner? Is there any messages you need to get to the uh, lesbians there? I miss you. I miss you too. Night I do. I, I I have tears in my eyes because I am not there. Um, so I, I want you to have a party twice as hard. I for me. Can't. And if I, you think I, her eyes are moist, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm crossing my legs, Frank. Wow. <laughs> Wait till the sorry, hot tub. Um, okay. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Doria, you guys have an exciting live broadcast tonight during our regular show hour, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific, in the lobby of the Riviera Hotel. And people can come and see you guys live and in person. Yes, please do. Please do. We're, good. We're boom, right there in the lobby. You can't miss us. In Palm it's Springs. It's fabulous. And, and don't have- you have some fun... Uh, the lesbian uh, guests who are going to be on the show tonight? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got some major lesbian guests. It's, uh, we have Margaret Cho coming by. We have, I, I don't know. It's too early for me to remember. Awesome. This is the best cross promotion ever. How, and how, <laughs> last night, how was, how was Suzanne Weston Hooker? Oh, she was fabulous. Erin Foley opened for her, and Erin was amazing. But she's one of the many lesbians that Frank has a crush on. Yeah, she's going to be huge. And Erin was hysterical. Yeah, she's going to be huge. Oh, my God. All right. First of all, this was interesting. They had, you know, of course, the guy interpreting for the deaf up on the stage. Wow. Because they needed somebody whose hands weren't already tired. (laughs) And he... (laughs) He... Takes a minute. Aaron kept saying, Jesus Christ. And at one point, she she turned to him and said, what's the sign for, for Jesus? Do you know what the sign for Jesus is in death? That point at both of their palms, like like the nails yeah. and the palms. That is sick. Is it? <laughs> or does it sum it up instantly? Yeah, it does. It's right. like, who could that be? Well, at least I thought it was going to be the two arms outstretched wide and the one foot over the other one. That's what I thought it was going to be. And head, head, head tilted. Of, you know, yeah. dangled down. No, it's, it's, it's like nail, nail. Horrifying. Uh, I don't know. Sorry. That's like what a... I learned this weekend. That's, it's been a very educational weekend. I'm learning signs. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> point, point. It's also this, it's the same sign for a uh, Home Depot accident. Is the other thing. That's the two things. It's geez. nail gun, nail, nail gun, gun, nail terrible. gun. Boom. It's almost the same. It's slightly <laughs> different sign for that, but it's close. Anyway, so Doria, I, what's the what's the plan for today? Do you have running around getting ready for the show? I so want to go take a nap. I'm exhausted, but it's just not going to happen. I I need to go check into the hotel. So yeah, you should do that anyway. Uh, uh, I know. I just I can't seem to find my way to the hotel. I've got to get over there. Well, Doria, I'm sure somebody will let you stay in their room if something happens. Mm-hmm. I yeah. just feel it. Yeah. And you will too. She'll feel it. Remember, yeah. dental darns. Okay, that's just we need to have them. Okay. We don't say damn on our show anymore. Really? We're cleaning it up. Dental yeah. damn. Okay. I thought you said dental yarn. Dental like, yarn. No, that's floss. That's different. Think, yeah. No, you no joke, no. but some lesbian's gonna make their own fucking dental dam out of yarn. You know okay. that. <laughs> <laughs> little little crochet. That's crazy macrame. Doria Mink Stoll says hello from New York. Oh, I love Mink. I miss her. She moved out of LA. I know, she's back in Baltimore. Yeah, I know, and it's it's really L.A.'s loss, and I told her that when she told me she was moving. I know, but she also said to me, she said, you know, I can always pop up and do your show, and I was like, okay. It's like, I love, so Mink will come. She said, do you still have your potholder? And I was like, yes, and I said, Doria does too. We all, Mink knit us potholders, so we have Mink stole I potholders. pointed out to everyone, I say, Mink stole made this for me. It's that, my, like, if my building is burning down, that's what I'm grabbing as I run out the door. The Mink stole <laughs> potholder. Oh, no. yeah. Heavy. Your poor cat. <laughs> okay. Well, she made the pot. She, no, no. In, in fairness, she made the pot holder out of Doria's cat. So it's okay. It's, uh, she grabs the dachshund and the pot holder, and little Bl- Bl- Blanche can fa- rummage she for herself. But you yeah, Blanche. You oh, are Br- trapped oh, in that Brigitte, house. Brigitte, I'm sorry. I thought Blanche was the living. <laughs> Brigitte, I met. Oops. I brought up a dead kitty. All right. Anyway, Doria, have a wonderful Whoops. time today. We will all be listening on the Doria and Romaine show beginning at 6 p.m. East. I have a thing that night. 3 a.m. West. <laughs> <laughs> Derek's well, busy. Sorry. with Bob Saget. Okay, yeah, that poor baby is coming here. I'm telling you, I feel so bad. But anyway, but lots of love to you, and have a great time, and, and we miss you a lot, and uh, we'll see you on Tuesday. You and I will be back live. Yes. Yay. All right, big honk and love. Have a great, great time, and get more friggin' publicity on here. I'm so happy to see you online. And remember, if you wore it once, you can't wear it again because there's cameras everywhere. Oh, I know. They are everywhere. And we're going to be, uh, uh, Kathy DeBono is doing some sort of live thing on SheWired.com, and she's going to pop by and do our show. So if you keep checking SheWired today and, and see what's going on with Kathy DeBono's live webcast, uh, she's going to be doing a live webcast from the uh, Dorian Romain show sometime yeah, it, today. Cool. I don't know when. I don't know what's going on. Are you still wearing the hooligan shirt? No. Good. That's what I like to hear. That's my baby. She's wearing another outfit. That's my yeah. baby. That's my baby. <laughs> there you go. All right. Bye, Doria. We love Bye. you. Bye, Doria. Bye. Take care. Bye. Oh, that was so sweet. You're listening to The Frank Show featuring the lovely Derek Hartley here on OutQ, Sirius 109 XM 98. Please welcome. Win- For all your carpet munching needs, munch, munch, munch. Dial The Frank DeCaro Show at 866-305-OUTQ. For real muncha, muncha, muncha action, listen to the Doria and Romaine Show beginning at 6 o'clock. Derek Hartley is here with me today, so we have an extra double bubble uh, host of gay today here on... Oh, oh, for God's sake, Derek. Anyway, let's go to (laughs) poor, poor Ryan in Connecticut. Ryan, you've been on hold for a year. I feel so bad. We owe you an anytime oh, minute. Hi, Frank. Yeah, I'm a first-time caller into your show. What? I'm going to miss you tonight, Derek. Ryan, you call our show six times a night. you no, never I've called Frank a... before? No. Well, that's a new one for me. Hi, Ryan. Hi. I, appreci- I only call it. I've been really good this week. I appreciate your monogamy, Ryan. Unlike yeah. some listeners, and you know who you are, you fuckers. All right, go <laughs> ahead, Ryan. <gasps> he said F. Okay, anyway, go ahead, Ryan. But I'm becoming sane because of you. And don't tell Romaine, I'm starting to like you better. Than Romaine? Yeah. You're like starting to like me better than Romaine or Frank better than Romaine? No, you, Derek. Oh, thank you, You're Ryan. keeping me sane. That- wow, because my insanity is absorbing your insanity. Is that what you're saying? It's the black hole of insanity. I don't know. Or the the, the pink hole of insanity. I'm the sham wow of insanity. (laughs) Okay. Thank you. I love this show. You guys are like each other's yin and yang. Yin, yeah, even, yeah. <laughs> I didn't touch his yang yet. Okay, anyway, I don't think I'm gonna either. I think we have too much respect for each other. Didn't, I, 
didn't I tell you when my old apartment was across the way from the uh, Chinese embassy? I saw a lot of Yang. Uh, thanks. <laughs> thank you. Good night. <laughs> was the, and, weren't you also in the Yang and the Restless? Oh, thank you. Oh, Zing. Bye, Ryan. Zing. Zing. Bye, Ryan. Okay. What Goodbye, show was Ryan. Zing? Which one was doing? Oh, that was on Two and a Half Men the other night. Oh, was Sing. it? Yeah. Oh, then I can't do it anymore. Anyway, two and a Half what... Jokes? Two I can't believe you watched that show. I know. I don't know why. It's, it's not funny. funny, Frank. After all, I know. I'm starting. He said something about it. He was talking about two fingers between the eyebrows and the two finger rule. And he says, oh, my girlfriend had a two finger rule. It didn't have anything to do with eyebrows. And I was like, that's the dirtiest. The straight. And then it's like straight people are gross. Meanwhile, I'm like, and so Eric Rhodes was up to his, his elbow bicep right, and, yeah, right. you know, in someone's ass. And it's like, oh, that's all sweetness and light. That's. That's, that's little Mary Sancho, but ugh, a man would put fingers in a girl. That's terrible. <laughs> that's ladies' work. Why would you do that? All right, anyway, an- 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 animus, anonymous, 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 Am- anonymous. You're on the Frank Show with Derek Hartley. The Frank DeCary Show is the best show on LQ, and Derek remains soft penis and twat. They not tra- in that order. <laughs> and- no, Thanks, wait, no, no, Matt no, no, in Philly. No, anyway, no, but wait a minute, oh, I, wait a minute, I, wait, but they, but they do. Wait a minute, it, he said not in that order. He said penis and twa and Derek and Romaine. So yes, in that order. Because please tell me, Derek, you don't have you? Are you a gold star guy? Please tell me. You oh are. God, sex with a woman? Yeah, that's oh, not gonna thank happen. Thank you. That's right. When I when I shiver me timbers. A- Animanimous. Thank you for so, for yeah. that. That was very sweet of you. It's and Matt I Matt in Philadelphia. You. That's who that was. Matt in Philadelphia. Thank you for that, Animanimous. I recognize your phone number. Anyway, <laughs> idiot. Anyway. <laughs> They know we, they don't, they think we don't know them. Oh, we, we see have, your phone number. We have eyes, we know. Anyway, Phil in New Jersey, you're on the Frank Show. Hi, Phil McCracken in Jersey. Um, <laughs> Frank, oh, that's one I haven't it's, heard in five minutes. And his roommate is Ben Dude. <laughs> Thank no, my, you. Okay. My husband's Harry Longdangle, actually. <laughs> okay. And I'm looking, for your, looking forward to your appearance in Philadelphia. And, I know. And, I'm excited to be there twice. Open bar, too. Say what? What? Open and bar. Top shelf open bar. Oh my! Top shelf open bar. Pish and Tosh. I'll be there as exactly. well now. And you and you there too. It's perfect. Oh my goodness! I'm there. I'm just the. But, I'm but the maraschino in in bed with Butch's uh, uh, Manhattan. Yeah, I'll be there. I yes. will be there this weekend for that for in bed with uh, Butch. He's having his 10th say anniversary. Hi, Please do. All right, I'm I'm there. I'll brush all my teeth and everything. I'll use the. I have the uh, the what do you call it? The electric. The new the the. Uh, Oral B one, okay. the clean yeah. one. It'll be I'll sonically clean my teeth. I'll look nice. Okay. For you. Bye, I'll Phil. See you then. See you then. All right, take her. And then I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in Philly again after that. Elvis in Las Vegas. Yo, Derek. You all gonna be riding Frank to your Cinco de Mayo party? Are you gonna be riding? Oh, inviting me. I thought he said riding me. I was like, you're not gonna be riding. I me did. Anywhere. I did send Frank an invite and uh, Jim Colucci as well because Jim is the one you have to convince. Uh, actually, that's not true. You have to let if you want Frank to come to something, you have to invite both Frank and Jim so that Jim can lean on Frank to leave the apartment and go. There is that too, <laughs> El- Elvis. It sounds like speaking of coming to something. Are you touching yourself? No, Elvis? it's Jared in Los Angeles. Oh, I can see Jim, your phone number too. Oh, oh, thank you very much. Oh, yeah, hey. whatever. Uh, anyway, yes, I did. It. I sent Frank an invite to my party and uh, Crisco Disco, who's here too. To my Cinco de Mayo party on May 10th. I, I don't remember getting that. Send on Facebook. Oh, that's why. I never look at that. See. Anyway, Danny in... I don't look at that part. I just go and... Oh, you want to be friends? Click, click, click. And that's all I do. Anyway, but I'll look. Danny in Washington, you're on the Frank Show. Hi, I just wanted to say that I um, saw the part of the Suzanne Weston Hopper show last night. In, in, in Palm uh, Springs, yes. No, I wasn't there. I was actually at home in Washington. But Kathy DeBono had it live... <laughs> um, that she was streaming on her website. So we got to watch bits and pieces when they had a good uh, connection. So anybody who wants to see it, uh, what Kathy DeBono is doing at least, uh, you can go to her channel. KathyDeBono.com, I think, or something like that. Or She Wired or whatever. She she Wired, yeah. So, and yeah, it's actually on Kathy's channel. There's probably a link to it on She Wired, but you can actually watch a little bit of the Dinah whatever. Are you kicking yourself for it's not exhausting. going, Denny, or what? Am I kicking myself for not going? No, I, I, I'm okay with it. Because <laughs> I feel I'm very sad about it, too. I'm, you know, I'm not the, I'm not too thrilled about the crowd, and uh, I didn't lose 20 pounds bikini weight, you know, thing, so... I'm oh, I just, oh, oh, you know, but you can never look at it that way. I'm telling you, you can never say, oh, I didn't fit in my suit, so I didn't. You just show up and let, as like, my mother used to say, let the fat fly, baby. Like everybody else there is going to do. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, 
Well, that's part of the reason I don't want to go. I can't. I can't take that much skin. Uh, well, so. you know, because I know, because then you t- you find yourself you're walking in the mall and you're touching yourself. It's bad. I know. Danny, take care of yourself. Thanks a lot for your call. And we'll definitely look for that. Uh, you know what? When Danny uh, Danny's call reminded me, you know, her when she said bits and pieces. I cannot hear that expression without thinking of the Golden Girls. Do you remember when they are going to go and see? Um, uh, uh, though they're going to go see uh, Burt Reynolds and they get arrested as prostitutes. Yes. Okay. And then they're it's all in, coming back. To yeah, you. and they're in jail. This would be helpful if Jim Colucci was here because he's memorized every Golden Girls episode. <laughs> he would know right away bits and pieces. But they're in the jail and um, and uh, Betty White is upset that she lost out being Butter Queen uh, when she was in Minnesota. And uh, Blanche says, "Oh, I loved her in Gone with the Wind." And uh, and uh, B. Arthur turns to her and says, are you even listening to this conversation? And she says, bits and pieces. <laughs> and ever since then, I'm like, that's my favorite. Whenever anyone's talking and I'm, just, and I'm not listening, I just think to my head, in my head, bits and pieces. Bits and pieces. Let's take some bits and pieces. <laughs> Heidi in Arizona, you're on the Frank Show with Derek Hartley. Hey, me? Oh, oh. Yeah, Heidi, it's you. You're the only <laughs> Heidi I'm talking to right now. Hey, Derek, how you doing? Hey, Heidi. Yeah, Derek knows me, Frank. You don't, because I've never called your show, so. Well, as long as you're listening, out. it's okay. You don't have to call it, but I, I appreciate the call. But anyway, but go ahead. Oh, I'm, I'm driving to Palm Springs right now to go see Doria and Romaine, so I'm about halfway there. All right, well, dr- stop. When you just get out, five minutes, take pictures in front of the dinosaurs. I'm telling you, it's a fun thing. Quick, you take a picture, you get back in the car because it's too religious and weird and strange. But now, we just you just don't buy anything. Run out, take a picture, get back in the car, drive away. You go to the outlet mall, you get a Cinnabon, you shop around and look a little bit. Then you go see the ladies and knock yourself out. So okay, yeah, have I, just, a, I just passed the Target, so. Well, that's I a mistake. Stop, you, you didn't stop, Heidi. That's crazy okay. talk. All right, take care of yourself. Have fun at the diner. Bye. Lots friends. of love. Shelly in Pittsburgh. Hey there. I am a straight married woman, and I just have to tell you that I love you guys. Well, let's. I'm coming to see you in Pittsburgh, but don't say anything. It's not. Oh, really? But I'll probably, be, I'll, be, I'll probably be there this summer. Let's just keep it between us. Yeah, all right? he's not keep coming to your us. house, though. It's not like the prize game. Yeah, band. don't worry. You don't have to dust or anything. It's fine. I'm oh, so thank glad God you're, for that. Don't worry. I'm so glad you're listening to us. We do have lots of straight listeners, which is really fun. And uh, hey, have you seen Mike Hunt? Mike, you're on The Frank Show. Hi, it's Mike Hunt in Palm Springs. <laughs> Mikey, how are you? Are you having fun? We're having fun. We just checked out the Riviera, and there's tons of women there. Oh. Yeah, and look, it's so many dinosaurs. <laughs> Listen to this. It's just, it's a crazy, crazy group that we have going. Have a wonderful just time. In and out bad don't, weather. Yeah, don't drink. Stop at the outlet until on the way back. We're going right. to stop at the outlet. So we already saw the dinosaurs. All right, perfect. Don't drink and drive. Oh, you can drink only and, a little bit. You can drink and stup, but don't drink and drive. Okay? <laughs> Hello? Have, right, who is Romaine? Romaine. Uh, Romaine. <laughs> I'm glad you finally made it with Michelle from San Francisco. Oh, yeah. I recognize Greg her fucking phone number, too. <laughs> We had quite the adventure getting here, and the I adventure know. is not even over yet. How was your How was seeing your family in Denver? Was everything all right? Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. They're crazy. N- what a shocker. The apple didn't fall far from that tree. No, they're going to see Elton John tonight, and I'm totally jealous. Oh. oh but you're think of all the, the fun you'll be having. You're going to be seeing pussy, isn't that Yeah, enough? so knock yourself. That is pretty good. You're right. Ro, Ro, I, gotta, I hate to cut you off because you can hurt me, but I, I but uh, we're, Bob Saget is waiting to go on. So, okay. That's Saget. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see you guys later. Bye, doll. Take Bye. care of yourself. Have fun. We'll listen tonight on Doria and Romaine's show. And uh, let's... Eric, five seconds. Quickly, otherwise Bob Saget will smack both of us. All right, you have a huge contingent of lesbians descending around Doria. Have them take pictures, embarrassing pictures of her, so we can vote on them. Eric, you're a genius. And I I love you. Frank, use it. Thank you. And also, Eric, congratulations on the animation for the Confirmed Bachelors. It's fabulous. Frank, congratulations on you being in it, honey. Thank you. It's on YouTube.com now. The the Confirmed Bachelors. Eric designed it and animated it. It's fabulous. Eric, take care of yourself, kiddo. Later, Derek. Bye. Escalator. Take care. When we return to The Frank Show, poor, poor Bob Saget will be joining us here (laughs) on The Frank Show on Alki. Series 109, XM 98. 
Michelangelo Signorelli Show. A government body will finance the purchase of as much as $1 trillion in soured loans and toxic assets. Who would want anything toxic? Who wants something toxic? If something is toxic, why would you want it? The Michelangelo Signorelli Show. Everything you need to know. 2 East, 11 West on OutQ. Sirius 109 XM 98. There are a lot of youth out there feeling lost and alone, and you know what? Help is just a phone call away. You don't have to sit there and feel like you're all by yourself because the Trevor Project operates the only nationwide around-the-clock crisis and suicide prevention helpline for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and questioning youth. You can call the Trevor Helpline at 866 for you, Trevor. Their trained counselors will listen and understand without judgment, or you can visit them online at thetrevorproject.org to learn more. The Trevor Project, saving young lives. Like a wash and set for your soul. To the wig shop. It's the Frank DeCaro Show on OutQ, Sirius 109, XM 98. I apologize for our show a lot, but I not usually Never after. Never enough, Frank. The, usually after we've interviewed the guest, but he's been here before, and, and he had, at poor that thing. point, there was the, a bit of lesbian reason thrown into the mix, but poor Bob Saget. It's been thrown in among. We're we're having. It's like gay people with. It's, we have gay DD is what it is. Okay, it's ah. it's people and and here and you have a brand new series, Mr. Bob Saget. I do, and it's it's fighting to be hetero. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Surviving Suburbia. <laughs> fighting to be hetero, hetero is actually a good name for it. I, I show. think that would be. I know. I my wheels were turning immediately. I yeah. just, the hilarious you, struggle of the ex gays. <laughs> what the hilarious struggle of a married man in the suburbs who is gay and doesn't know it. That's season two. That's in, there you, uh, in success. That's it. so. We but, save and, it for sweet. But tell us, <laughs> tell in us. success, suck less. <laughs> and you and I love. You also said when you walked in, when I said, "There's no lesbian here." Who did you say you look like? This morning I dressed like Ellen. A little bit. He's I wearing a sweater an, and, the, and the high collar and the, right. the sneakers. Look, you know. But it's cashmere, so it's fine. It is. It's she, wear, she must wear cashmere. I would hope. She's low dead. She, I would think she. Uh, things she, that fall off Portia de Rossi, she should have knit into a sweater. She's anything. a beautiful yeah. woman. They're, they're, I love them both. I'd marry them both right now. <laughs> I'd, I'd sit I'd in the phone you. booth and wait for it to ring. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be Colin Farrell for that. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about Surviving Suburbia. Well, thank you. I'm glad you asked. This so, is a 10 hour day. I actually love the show. It's a crazy. Thing that happened, um, and it happened really quickly because last time I saw you, I didn't have it to talk about. Um, I was uh, uh, got a script like a year ago, and uh, this guy Kevin Abbott is a writer. He wrote on Roseanne and Reba, and uh, Grace Under Fire, and they gave me the script. Said, "Do you like it? It's about a guy in the suburbs, married with a son, a seventeen, and a daughter who's ten, and he's just it's observational comedy about what it's like just to live in the suburbs." And I really responded well to it because the guy, Steve Patterson, that I ended up playing is a guy that just kind of wants to be left alone. He's a nice guy, I guess, but he I means he's a liar. He does things. He gets in trouble. He drinks too much. A lot of booze. He doesn't shave, which is big for me. That was huge. It's great when Fantastic. you don't have to shave every day. I waxed my lower parts, but that was just for me because <laughs> an actor has to prepare. Well, because even a... if the audience can't see it, you as an actor, you know it's there. I can feel it yeah. inside me. Of course. That's so... Uh, <laughs> Cynthia Stevenson, who we love, uh, played terrific. my yeah. wife. And so she's my wife. Uh, she did, uh, you know, uh, Men in Trees and Dead Like Me and uh, Hope and Gloria. And then I've got this son who's 20, playing 17. His name is Jared Kuznets, really talented kid. And, and G, Hanis, letter G, this 10 year old girl who's like a, a very, very, very smart, real. There, there's a reality that we're trying to bring to this 21 minute, even though it's a sitcom, four camera with an audience. We're trying to bring kind of a real vibe to it and uh it's about simple stuff like the the first episode is don't make your neighbor give you them th their key so you, you have to go check their mail and feed their fish because it'll bite you back in the ass don't do it and then we go over to the house and this jerry burns is my neighbor we set fire to the the house accidentally <laughs> little sitcom things like that i like sitcom things like well i i we need another good sitcom that's the truth that really is the truth because we have been realityed out and i think sitcom when it works is really great. I mean, and especially now. I mean, people are watching a lot of TV, and uh, ABC wants to bring sitcoms back, and they're working hard to try to find a couple that are really strong, and they're being incredibly supportive. We're on after Dancing with the Stars on Monday. You can't great get slot. A, you can't get a better. I haven't said great slot for a few months. I need a, a date. <laughs> hey, Dory is going to see a lot of great slots at Dinah Shore Weekend. Dinah, but, yeah. you. Yeah, but if Cloris Leachman was on Dancing with the Stars, I'd see a great older slot. That That's is a true. primo slot. She sat in that chair two days ago. Oh, you are sitting. God. You are sitting where it's, the Leachman slot once. 
was. This is a peel and eat cushion. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this is like Marty. I'm ready to go to New Orleans. I love Cloris Leachman. She's great. She's on an antibiotics for down below, but she's a good person. <laughs> but she uh, she's hilarious. She did my roast last year. She um, I, she was cute. Oot, oot. It's now was that the roast where she said, "For the love of God, punch me in the face so I can see some stars." Yeah, how yes. great we was that play line? that uh, all the time on our show. Yeah. And uh, so you were the pretty boy that she was going to take with the Oscar, or was that somebody else? Who, Stamos. Who was she? she was. Oh, she was Stamos. Bang she him, said, "I am true. not here to roast Bob Saget. I am here to fuck John Stamos." Yes, that is what she said. A lovely old broad. And, and that, did she succeed? That's they kissed. Really they kissed know. deeply, and the right. back of his neck moved. Was That's how much her tongue pushed. <laughs> wow. She pushed one out the back she, of his neck. She can do a spinal realignment that way, which is an she odd can, thing that she can do. It's a really. very unusual thing. It's almost like a CGI character. <laughs> you hear a cracking when she moves. She, she does that. She can give you a medulla oblongata job that you like. You'll never forget. Which is one I'll of my favorite it. sting songs. <laughs> <laughs> I also had it this morning at a uh, crayfish restaurant. <laughs> it's all the same thing. We are talking to lovely Bob Saget. <laughs> you know, it's not. I have to say, we've. It's been a while since we discovered how dirty you are. I'm thrilled and delighted. Thank I mean, you. It's, it's, I feel... it's been a 25-year process for no, me. It's so I, weird, isn't it? I didn't know, because you were dirty before the sitcom and yeah. then dirty after, but I I didn't know the before part, so I thought, oh, he's a sweet and lovely man. And then we saw you uh, in things, and I, the, I think it was the aristocrats that yeah. we saw you, and it was like, oh, he's a pig. <laughs> and uh, we say that oh, from the, tremendous the love. Is yes, anyway, but he's, this that man... Was, is, that's a high compliment from Frank when he man, calls you a pig. This Thank man you. is Trafe. Okay, I am. <laughs> I'm parv. Oh no, I'm the opposite of parv. You're anti-parv. Yeah, you can't eat me parv for Passover. You can't. Well, you can. They what? You can. I'll, I'll put a, I'll strap a matzah and a twenty dollar bill to my wiener if somebody goes here. <laughs> I'm doing Passover with my ex-wife. She's gonna. Oh I'm gonna hide money in the in the Afik Homan. <laughs> Big Afik Homan uh, audience out there. It's the Jewish matzah that yeah. you hide because it's going to, you know what it is? It's supposed to be the Easter egg kind of parable that, oh, yeah. we're going to hide the matzah for money. Easter eggs, you hide them and then someone puts them back in, inside themselves and they vibrate and they help do. them through the holiday. <laughs> they And thank heaven for that. Thank or if, for it's fe- if it's fellas, you know, it's, it looks like a set of Easter eggs if you're if lucky. It's, if it's fellas. If one is lucky, <laughs> yes. Anyway, hey, it's, fellas. It's, it's the boys down <laughs> you know, there. Yeah, you find the eggs and you turn your head and cough. <laughs> Uh, we are talking to Bob Saget. His brand new show, Surviving Suburbia, is to start this Monday. Monday, after Dancing with the Stars, and tell you how tricked out this is. I'm going to be sitting, sitting, because I have a bad meniscus and a spur on my foot. I'm sorry, that's sperm I got on my foot. <laughs> I'm going to sure this studio. That doesn't surprise me. Well, I, know, I, walked, I walked barefoot, and it was who flung goo. But I was. I was. Uh, I'm going to be Monday with Cynthia Stevenson in the audience, and Tom Bergeron, who used to host the video show that I, u- who does host the video show that I used to host, is going to give me a shout out with Cynthia to promote our show that follows it with no commercial, and then they'll cut to our television set, and we'll be watching Dancing with the Stars in our sitcom. That is how trick ABC has figured out how to sell, sell, that sell. Is so meta. That it's almost a pop culture <laughs> happening that you have to be part of. I have it moved when you said that. I haven't been this excited <laughs> since Liz Taylor was on four sitcoms in a row. Remember that time when Liz was, Taylor she did actually the four? inserted Mickey Rooney into herself, <laughs> his entire body, all, all of him. All yes, I was going to. I remember. Uh, I believe that was Circus of the Stars. <laughs> it was. It was Circus, circus Jerkus. And then she, circus, she had, it was Circumcision of the Stars. Thank right. you. So there Mickey was in the front, and Vern Troyer was hidden in the rear. <laughs> That's talent with a dry cell. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine having butt plug on your resume? It's like, what else have you played? I played the butt plug on uh, it probably, for Vern Troyer. It'd probably be one of the better credits. It could Although, be. Oh, no, Doctor Evil's assistant's probably the best. Yeah. And Mini then game. butt plug. Yeah. And the, 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 well, have, it's better than VH1 bring in the corner like a little goat when he's peeing. At, man, that little Vern. Yeah, that was, was worse. That was that worse was than way. butt plug. Yeah, I think you'd rather play. I would rather play butt yeah. plug than. than and the winner is butt set, plug. Butt <laughs> <laughs> and playing the part of butt plug, <laughs> Mr. Vern. Except like, the award for I'd Bob like Plug. to thank yes. Elizabeth Taylor <laughs> in her ass. Actually, yeah. I like the now quick scene. <laughs> he's inside <laughs> her ass. Maybe he's Kenny too from South Park. I oh, never thought that was a so brilliant. Cute. That was a, to find out that that's who it was. They'll I, do a I live think, action one someday, and it'll turn out to be him. Most amazing thing that ever happened is they killed him so many times. Then they just decided to bring him back. Yeah. He just lives again. <laughs> 
good. But he was dead for like a, two seasons, wasn't he? I think so. Yeah, I I, I, yeah. I step in what? once in a while and and we do that. So do, 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 do you go on there? I watch one. No, I've never been. I, I'd like to be on the show. I think the miracle will be, be bringing made chef back. No, that ain't gonna happen. Yeah, that's no, not. That's yeah. not looking they good. They took a video, a voice sampling of him before he passed away, and they kind of made him. It was kind of an evil turn of events. Yes, in fact, it was. But I like bitter. I don't like a happy breakup. I, I you know, when no. someone leaves, a sh- you're sp- I was very bitter when I left The Daily Show, and I think one should be. I think. Well, in, on MASH, McLean Stevenson left, and they blew him up in a helicopter. That, this time, it's serious. Sad thing. <laughs> yeah, you won't be in the reunion show. <laughs> no, I don't. I mean, you're not going to see him in the MASH mm, tent. It's not like, well, he probably, <laughs> that's, that was, that was, that was kind of dodging a bullet, though, when I think about the shows that came after well, after Mash came after Mash, but there, there's that. So, um, do you uh, get as much joy out of doing stand up as as uh, as you once did? A, a surprisingly more joy than I ever thought I would get with other things that give me joy. It's like uh, that's, that's really well put, Bob. It was good. <laughs> Let me open some fortune cookies and then wipe what? myself with them. <laughs> I have nothing intelligent to say right Word now. Wordsmith Bob Saget. <laughs> I, I work in Williamsburg in the Wordsmith shop. <laughs> Um, I sell per quacky to old people. <laughs> um, I, I, <laughs> I agree. Anyone who can use per quacky in a sentence is welcome on the Frank DiCaro show. Love anytime. you more. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but what happened was, um, what's the question? No, I know about I, stand-up. I, I love stand-up. I did it the other night. I went to the comedy cellar and I actually took my daughters and hung out with Jeff Ross and Jim Norton and Greg Giraldo was there. And it's just like, you know, it, I just love it. And Colin Quinn, he's so good. But I was like, it was just fascinating to me that I can't stop doing it. I it's this this other thing that I just keep wanting to do, and and then I'll go and act, and I love acting. So I'll which which came first? Were you stand up and then acting, or acting and at the same it's, time? I, I was nine years old and picked up an eight millimeter camera and just made movies, and then I went to film school, and then I then I was doing stand up when I was seventeen, and then doing improv at the same time, and so I did all kinds of stuff all the time at the same time. None of them well, but I did, <laughs> I did all of them. And I, I just, I guess stand up was my main thing that I kept doing. But I like directing too, so I would make a lot of uh, snuff films. <laughs> snuff films are good. As long as you don't star and you, you don't do the Woody Allen thing where you're in it and you direct it because you don't want to do the snuff, snuff film. It's a snuff film. You're no, right. bad. Because it's bad because then the, the two tractors pull away and you're, you can't make any more films. You know? <laughs> You know, a snuff film. I always, I had a, jo- I have a joke where snuff films are good because it's one take and you're out of there. Right. You know, you're not losing the light. Boom. You're it's losing right. the life. Hey. Hello, Hyman. <laughs> Sequels are tough, but otherwise, yes. You no don't have snuff. to deal with actors afterwards. That's a title you'll never hear. Snuff two. No, <laughs> it's just not going to happen. What's, well, this Fast and Furious is today, so it's like, what is it? Same movie, old parts or new parts? Same model or new model? New model, original parts. Original I parts. Charlize is not in it, though. No. She wasn't she in a, the original she has, one. Oh, she wasn't? Like, no. Uh, oh, she wasn't? I was going with you. I thought it was... Uh, <laughs> that, I thought she, made didn't up she play Arlie, uh, uh, Warren Ove in that movie? Wasn't she in the, uh, the Fast and the Furious, where she, uh, the serial killer? That, wasn't that her? She was Arlene Dahl, I believe, the, in The Thin Men. <laughs> <laughs> who am I thinking of? Who who played... Uh, Are you thinking of Monster? Yeah, who was that? That, that was, was Charlize, Charlize Theron, but she was not in Fast and the Furious. I know, but let's put what her in. the other one she was in? She was in one... With uh, Mark IMDb. Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg and her were in Fast Cars. Oh, wasn't that the Italian job? That's what it was. That was the one with By the, the way, Mini I Coopers. Could, I could use one of them, too. I could, it's, I it's was, an Italian job. I need one right now. I used to get those. <laughs> I was right near, over near the Port Authority I, when I was go, working my way through school. I oh. really did. I was, no, I didn't do that. I'm so sad the prostitutes are gone from New York. <laughs> it is really terrible. I Where are they? Well, they moved on to Craigslist. But oh. yeah, I and, missed and them on the corners. For that matter, yeah. They yeah. are not here? Are you serious? I, they don't work corners it. anymore. What about hotels? They were in the yeah, hotels. They probably, but it's the like, high, that's a high class we were, thing. We were complaining. I, well, we, we were. the trashy ones. I was complaining about this. I said to my boyfriend, we're walking through our neighborhood. I said, I said, remember, I was like, 10 years ago, we'd be walking along, and you'd see, like, they'd be building a building, and there'd be a dark little alleyway, and there'd be someone just naked in work boots beating off, you know, and just waiting <laughs> to get. And you don't see that anymore. Well, I, don't I had people. to get on television. I, I had to know. stop that kind of behavior. <laughs> it's between series at that point. No, but you don't see people. I also think. And you don't see people touching themselves on the subway anymore. You know what I mean? No, Bob, my daughter said they saw someone on the subway sitting next to his own poop. <laughs> that he had made it, squatted it, made it, and he was sitting next to it. I was like, why didn't you get a JPEG of that? You got to send that. 
him and his little <laughs> hanky the Christmas right. next to him. To me, that's a foul. That's, that's upsetting. Bar- but you, at least you clean up your own like a do- poopy scooper. You'd pick up and put it in a bag. You have the one little Ziploc in your hand. Yeah, we have all, if everyone has a dog, you always have plastic bags. Always. Let me see if I make a liar out of myself. No, look. I might have a dog, so you always right. have plastic bags with you, always. This guy should have had to just put it in his pocket anyway. There's something. It's just a little... You don't want to high-five him after that. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. No. Not you doing know where that. his hand has been because it's sitting right there. <laughs> little Tootsie Roll. Say hello to my little friend. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, now tell me... Classic. Let's, let's go back for the <laughs> your network. Buddy, your buddy smells like crap. <laughs> <laughs> just new lip gloss. <laughs> Wipe that shit-eating grin off your face. <laughs> That's right. Uh, it's our stop. Boy, anyway. Corn. I don't remember <laughs> eating corn. <laughs> oh, Miss Channing. Anyway. <laughs> now, for, so the network... Why, so, why is there coming? hair in that poop? <laughs> <laughs> well, we eat hair? Why is there hair, nuts, and corn? <laughs> That's the name of my book, Hair, Nuts, and Corn. <laughs> That's a good title, by the way. Perfect. It's also a good name for a comedy trio. It's a, it's a hair, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. I'm hair. I'm nuts. I'm corn. <laughs> we like to shit around. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so... Let for the net when we cut all this together, so we can send something to the network. What the AB? How many? How, like how, many for radio how for Europe? many? No, for your network for ABC. Yeah, right? Oh, they're going to want a piece. Other ABC Maybe guests can just, come on the just show. Just in case oh, 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 they oh, oh, ask, oh. let's because that will cut all that part out. I am so excited that ABC has put us uh, in this prime plum spot. spot. How many episodes have that we done of Surviving we did, Suburbia? We did thirteen episodes. Good. And, uh, Are they, they all in the can they, already? They're or? in the can, just like I will be in a half hour. But they <laughs> but they went and gave us uh, this nine thirty after Dancing with the Stars spot. You can't really you can't beat it up better than that. No. And you you hope I'm hoping that we get to do it more that people really respond to it because it's sitcom. And, you know I've talked to a bunch of people and they're like bring it back. You know help with it's back. I mean there's Two and a Half Men, there's Big Bang, there's a bunch of sitcoms. You know people love them and there's also that single camera or a hybrid thing that does kind of well but you know and i, I do uh, the voice on how i met your mother that's i a, love how i met a your sweet mother. show and i'm the I'm him grown up on that thing but that's um josh radner grown up but you know that's it's a it's a sitcom but it doesn't have the audience it's not and it's a million scenes it's a very ambitious show they they'll shoot like 70 80 scenes but uh, well, it's Carter and Craig, the two of them, right? Carter and Craig, yeah, yeah, yeah. so talented. So, and they were Letterman people. Yep. Yeah, they're hilarious. And Pam Fryman's a dear friend of mine, and she's the reason I ended up narrating it. She just called and said, but you're, we think you're right to do Josh Radner in the future. It doesn't sound right that that was the offer to do no, Josh Radner. Well, if anyone's going to do him, I'm glad it's a handsome fellow like well, you. Well, you never know. Thank you. Well, we look uh, supposedly a little alike, so that's I guess that would be attractive to both of us. Well, if you're the gays like that, they do. That. Right. Once in a while, not all. Some of us want someone who looks nothing like us. Well, once the same. in a while, there it's are the same few. as in a in a, uh, a fake hetero relationship. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> as you guys, as you know, all relationships are gay. As if it's as in a fake hetero relationship. You know, they, you know my it's mother, just a beard. My mother used to. Did you know that? A lesbian, a beard for a lesbian is a merkin. Yes, I didn't know they used no, it a, in that way. I mean, a, a pussy a, a, wig is a merkin too. Oh, but, oh, but oh, if oh, you oh. like a beard, pussy wig was one of the famed uh, governors back in the days of <laughs> uh, yore. And a Dickens character, right. I think. He from, was. Right, Dickens, pussy wig, right? Dickens, Dickens, Dickens and pussy wig together again. <laughs> they, they were the ones they ran. Uh, corn and hair, hair. And, and wherever the right middle one town. was out of town, it was there. Yeah, it was a that horrible. old curiosity oh, no. shop was busy. <laughs> well, they added an <laughs> they added an accordion, and it worked out. I don't want to they... look in the potion shop. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch. But so, uh, but uh, pussy wig uh, p- always was by the blacksmith shop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't sound good. <laughs> Does it, but it sounds dirty when you say it, Bob Saget. So. I hope so. It really does. <laughs> so, but no. But how I met your mother. Love that you know you're on there, and that show is so smart and fun, and and you, we care about the characters, right? And so and, that's and but uh, but surviving suburbia is a different kind of thing because it's it's right with a studio audience, and we're trying to act out the plays with longer scenes and let the characters. Figure out how we're going to solve this problem, like me lying or me bringing a gun into the house. A friend brings a gun. I am personally not a pro gun person. And Dan Cortesi comes over and goes, "Hey, it's a lot of a lot of you know robberies in the neighborhood. Here's a gun, Patterson. So have a good time." My wife's like, "I don't I don't like this." And I'm like, "Hey, this is cool. You know, the kids will listen to me if I got a gun." And and I end up going. And I end up yeah right. And then I go end up going to the shooting range, and it's just a weird story because it's you don't see. Yeah, no, you don't I, see but, sitcom stuff like that. But it just on so it's Monday at nine thirty, right, on, for, ABC, yeah, on ABC, which is good because I don't have a nine thirty. I'm not in love with a nine thirty show, so I don't have to cheat. I don't even have to use my my double tape two things at once, thing. right? 
Because there's stuff that I... Because 9.30 I could sort of watch. There's stuff on CBS. Like, yeah, that's right. But now I'm going to switch over. I'll watch you. Now Thank I'll have you. a must-watch thing there on Monday. Because we have to watch to you with... Opinion. We'll have to watch... Because we watch Big Bang, and then we watch How I Met Your Mother. Right. And then 9 o'clock, I pretend I don't like uh, Two and a Half Men, but I, it's, it's making me laugh lately. But then at 9.30, I don't have... I'm like, I'm not falling in love with other things on CBS because they moved my worst week that I liked. So now I'm going to come over and watch your thing instead of... Uh, what's there? Rules of Engagement. So I'm going to come over and watch Surviving Suburbia instead. Well, thank I'll you. I'll sneak over. Thank you for being with us. It's oh. always a pleasure and, yeah. and thrown in amongst uh, the, the gays here like this, and, and we appreciate it. Because when, when there's, there's a lesbian here, faggot. at least... Yeah, it's... yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know where I fall on this whole equation. I'm confused. It's two faggots in a sacket. It worked out beautifully. My name finally worked out for me. See, isn't that worked out? (laughs) It used to be ridicule, and now I'm in a club. (laughs) Yeah, did they pick on you? I bet they would have. Anything that wrong. That's all they did. Saget, bagot, faggot, sag balls, sag nuts. Yeah, but see that in our group. If you were a gay and you're like, they don't call me sag nuts for nothing. It'd be. Oh, it's a big deal. They love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The women are like, ooh, they hang. And the gay guys are like, they want to do the, what's that thing where they the regurgitators? They want to be like they swallow, they cough up. They swallow, they cough up. It's a whole it's like a retractable set of keys. It's like gays are what's, pigs. What's, what's what good I'm about a really long uh, set is that uh, you you don't you won't hurt anyone. You can get them out. You know, yeah, right? At the last yeah, exactly. At the la- right before, it's like a plumber's helper. <laughs> you know, you want to hey, send it down as a, send it down <laughs> as a probe, so that you make sure that you can <laughs> snap it back. Right. It's like silly putty or oh. Spider Man. Oh, poor ABC. I just, you, you don't I'm know what you've They can edit. They yeah, can we edit. Can, we'll edit this together. It'll be clean. <laughs> It'll be lovely. It's it'll be short. It'll be a minute and a half, but, <laughs> but be a lot no, of You like it like this. I you love, love it. it. <laughs> I do. All men are pigs, and I'm their leader. That's what I've decided now. Okay, I, it's at least the gay contingent. I'm, the, I'm the USO troop of the gay uh, contingent, I think. Perfect. Whatever we're doing. I Bob Saget, thank you so much. And it premieres after Dancing with the Stars. Or Prancing with the Stars, as we like to call it. And uh, it's Surviving Suburbia, and it is on uh, ABC, ABC beginning Monday. And we will all watch. And make sure that first week is big right out of the box, because they like the... Sorry about the words out of the box. Yeah, I'm, so. uh, big out of the box is a dream for me. <laughs> <laughs> you and go. me both. You're listening to The Frank Show on Out <laughs> Serious 109 XM 98. I'm Vinny Politan. Me and Vinny. I'm Stars 2. Who's the me? The me is you. That's right, because I care about what you think about what I'm talking about. The show is about politics, pop culture, whatever's grinding your gears on that particular day is on our plate. Also, I'm a former prosecutor. What I do is I take a look at those criminal stories and pick them apart like nobody else can. That's me and Vinny. 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. East, 3 to 6 West. Me and Vinny on Stars 2, Sirius 108 and XM 139. The makers of Bruce's Hidden Valley Valanche Dressing return you now to the creamy goodness of the Frank DeCaro Show on OutQ, Sirius 109, XM 98. I have had more fun today with oh. Mr. Derek Hartley. I just have, <gasps> yes. and Crisco Disco, and Doria Biddle, I have to say, is uh, going to have lots and lots of fun with Roro tonight on the Doria and Romaine Show. Uh, so, Live from the lobby of the Riviera Hotel in Palm Springs for Dinosaur Weekend. Yes, the Dinosaur Weekend, as you've co- so <laughs> lovingly put it, Mr. Derek Hartley. And uh, let's see what... Oh, I have to tell you one thing. So last night, I went... Well, two things I have to tell you. I watched The Spirit. Okay. You know the Frank Miller movie, The Spirit? Yes, which I have not comes seen. Comes out April 14th on Blu-ray. Okay. You want to borrow the Blu-ray? Uh, I Actually, you know what? I think I will. Yeah, sure. Because okay. roommate will watch it. Okay. Yeah, and I'll watch it too. Dinko. Okay, I didn't really? like it. Anyway. That's well, it. then I can't wait to borrow it, Frank, with your you. upsell. Uh, you'll love it. Available now, now on Blu-ray. Thank you. But I have to say, no, April 14th. So anyway. Available April 14th on Blu-ray. John Waters had an opening last night, a gallery show opening of oh, his of his Ooh. of his photographs and his paint and and stuff. Right. And the pieces included a giant bottle of rush spilled over on the floor. It was as big as a trash can. It was a huge bottle of uh, of inhaler. You know, oh rush. Oh, anyway, okay, all right. rush, rush. So anyway, not Gucci rush, just rush. Okay, so anyway, that not was like that. the Paul Abdul song, rush, rush. No, right? no, no. Okay. and or the Debbie Harry one. But anyway, but uh, they also, uh, he had photographs, uh, he photographed arrangements of flowers, and it was called the Hetero Flower Shop, and it was the ugliest flower arrangements you oh. ever saw in your life. It was the Hetero Flower Shop. I love that. And this was my favorite. <laughs> he had pictures of huge celebrities, like Meryl Streep, and the whole thing, with the smile train cleft grafted onto them. So they all had the cleft palette 
thing like this, like a face up like that, like right. one of the little smile train right. babies. So you have to see Meryl Streep with a cleft palate. You ju- it was just the sickest thing. I thought I said to him, I said, John, just when I think you can't get any crazier, you do this. It was so hilarious. It was brilliant. It oh, was my God. Just that makes me want to see it just for that. So our movie critic, Dennis Germany, was there because he's best friends with John. And Mink Stoll was all gushy. And Todd Oldham and his partner, Tony Longoria, seemed very eager to buy something. I was very jealous because the one I – the header of Flower Shop was $9,000. You know, but the the other mm, one seems pricey. Pricey, but the other one was a mere forty five hundred. I wanted it so bad. Oh, if I told Jim, I said, "Sweetie, if we had forty five hundred dollars, Meryl Streep with a cleft palate would be going home with us tonight." Okay, that would be ours if I had forty five hundred dollars sitting around in the couch cushions. You know? Nobody has that kind of money lying around. Not the anymore. Bag. Oh my god! But it was heaven. It really was. And there's going to be the show is also going to be it's it's the I think it's the Marianne Boski Gallery. It's it's on Twenty Fourth Street here in New York, and he's having a show opening next week in Los Angeles at the Gagosian in uh, Beverly Hills. So go to that when you're out. That You need to see it. If you're in L.A. or New York, right. you've got to see the gallery show. It's a screen. Derek Hartley, a million thanks. You bet, Frank. Anytime. You know that. Thank you. I'm going to come and do your show one of these days, <gasps> too. I would love Stop. it. Stop. I can't stand it. It's if too I, much. As soon as I get invited. Anyway, I'm Anytime. kidding. All right, the news is next. And then senior... <laughs>